Ladies, and today I am going to take you through some pregnancy sun salutations. So join me at the front of your yoga mat. Okay, now when we're pregnant, we may need a little bit more space to accommodate our bump. All right, so always being aware of the bump and uh, not doing anything that's uncomfortable for you or your baby. Okay, so we're going to stand with the feet about hip width apart here. Okay, so knees directly above the feet, underneath the hips, okay? I'm just going to gently pull up in that pelvic floor, tucking the buttocks under, all right? So your centre of gravity may be a little bit off, so as we stand in mountain pose, we're just going to rock forwards and backwards, just finding our centre of gravity here, okay? So being aware of baby, no matter how pregnant you are, this is suitable for all three trimesters, just being aware of what you feel and what's comfortable and adapting anything that's not. We're going to take a slight bend in the knees as well, just to make sure that we're not locking out those muscles. And we need to be very aware of hyperextending when we're pregnant as well, because we have all of that gorgeous relaxing running up and down through the body. Okay. Taking the shoulders back and down that buttocks, those buttocks are nice and tucked under. Stretching the fingertips towards the ground. We're going to inhale, taking those hands up above the head. If we have high blood pressure, just taking them to the heart. We're going to inhale with a very gentle back bend and exhale, we're going to come down to here. So unlike our normal sun salutation, where we go into the full forward fold. If bump accommodates it and you want to, you can pop down into the full forward fold. So remember, this is about listening to your body, okay? From here, we're going to place the hands down in front of the feet and we're going to come on to tabletop position, all fours, okay? So placing the hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips, lovely triangle, sorry, triangle, rectangle between the hands and the feet. We're going to turn those toes under and we're going to curl the back up slightly. And from here, we're just going to flip over into downward facing dog if this is available to you, okay? Now, if it is, don't focus on getting the feet down to the mat. And again, those feet can be slightly wider apart. So just flexing the feet, stretching out the calves and the hamstrings. You can walk the doggy here as well. So taking the knees to the opposite side, being aware if you have pelvic girdle pain, not to avoid those twisting motions, okay? So just keeping a bend in the elbows again, pushing down into the hands. If you feel dizzy or this is too much, come back into tabletop. If that's not even enough, again, back into child's pose, taking those knees apart to accommodate your bump, whatever is comfortable for you. Now, an alternative to your down dog is your cat curl, okay? So being aware of that pregnancy weight again, curling up not as severely as we would normally and curling down, okay? So just looking up between eyebrows towards the third eye, so just curling, you can turn the toes under, you can keep them flat, up to you. Curling up. Inhale, we go up. Exhale, we go down. So we're just starting to loosen up the spine here. Or <clears throat> we have the option, downward facing dog here as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies, have a little cough. So again, keeping those knees bent, flexing the feet, just finding your dog for this first round, okay? And then very gently, I want you to walk those feet forward, even if you're used to jumping, and no matter how small your bump is, I want you to get comfortable to working with your baby. So coming onto the fingertips, looking forward, hands flat on the mat if it's available. If it's not, just coming here again, and gently coming back up, looking at the thumbs. Again, no hands above the head if we have high blood pressure. And back to the heart. Okay, so let's go through this a few more times. We'll, we'll pick up the pace and just using your own adaptions. I'll go into the full extent of the sun salut pregnancy sun salutation and you can just join along at your own pace. Okay, so grounding with the feet, slight bend in the knees, tucking the pelvis zones under, very gentle mula banda, pulling up in the pelvic floor, shoulders back and down, fingertips pointing to the ground. Inhale, coming up, looking at the thumb. Exhale, coming down, bending those knees. I'm just coming down to here. You can take it all the way down if you like to standing forward bend. Exhale, and we're taking the hands down in front of the toes and we're gently, smoothly coming on to all fours. Now, don't worry if it doesn't look gorgeous. Um, sometimes that's the way it is when we're pregnant, okay? 
from here we have the option obviously of the cat curls or we can pop those toes under and come up into Adamokas Vanasana, downward facing dog okay so playing with that dog again we're going to take five breaths here just making sure the inhale e equals the exhale nice smooth movements just pushing into the hands bending the elbows slightly looking between the feet we don't need to look as far up as the navel these days now that we're pregnant and after five breaths just very slowly walking those feet back to the hands okay Again, feet hip width apart, hands together, coming to the knees, looking up at the thumbs, exhale, back to starting position. So we'll do two more here. Inhale, coming up, looking at the thumbs, exhale, coming down. Taking the hands down to the mat. We can look between the knees if it's available. If not, we come straight on to all fours. Okay, so into that tabletop position. Toes under or flat, whatever works for you. We're going to look up between the eyebrows if we're doing our cat cuddles, looking down towards the navel on the exhale, or we can flip into that downward facing dog. So just wherever we are, taking five breaths here. Remember those feet are hip width apart. We're always accommodating our bump. Make sure you don't squish your baby. Bending the elbows, pressing into the hands, into those palms. And just taking five breaths, just walking your dog, whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, just play around with it, it's all good fun. And after your five breaths, looking forward and just very slowly and gently walking the feet up to the hands. Again, feet hip width apart, bring the elbows to the knees, coming up and back to center. One more. Inhale, coming up, looking up at the thumbs. Exhale, we bring the elbows down towards the knees. If we want to come forward, that's absolutely fine. We can come into full forward fold if it's available. If not, from here, we can come in to balance, sorry, tabletop position. Okay, from here we have the choice of Bidalasana or cat curls or over into Adamukas Vanasana, downward facing doggy. And just playing around with your dog, five breaths, seat again. Okay, just breathing in and out through the nose, really releasing that lower back, <sighs> having fun. Okay, now this is a full workout. After five breaths, we're going to look between the hands again. We're going to gently, in small steps, walk up towards the hands, taking the palms together in prayer, coming up to the elbows, Looking up at the thumbs, exhale, back to centre. Okay, so that is your pregnancy sun salutation. Now, the reason a pregnancy sun salutation is fantastic is because it's a full body workout, okay? So even if you only have 10 minutes in the morning, do three to five of these, 10 if you can manage, you're going to be opening up the body using every muscle available. Super fun, super stretchy, super energising. And perfectly safe for all trimesters or pregnancy. Namaste.